get ready for a dope Meek Mill record, and with that, this is his 2015 album. So if you don't know who Meek Mill is, he is a signee to Rick Ross's label, Maybach Music. Now, he's been around for a good while now, and he's had several songs that have come up and everything, and really, there was some time in between his 2012 album, Dreams and Nightmares, and 2015. It was supposed to drop in 2014, but he wound up going to prison, and probation has been haunting him for a good while. If you've been paying attention to what he's been doing, it's lasting for an, a, another good while, so pretty much he's going to be on probation. And, you know, it's been limiting the amount of music, so as far as getting to his third album, we might have to wait a little bit. But the the good news is that, you know, this is the... When I reviewed Dreams and Nightmares, I actually wound up liking that more than I did then. But it it... I will say that he improved upon things, and that's what this album leads to. So it's def it's better, even if the the songs on his 2012 album may have been more distinct. Now the real the real difference is is I think the only problem is that the the singles just did not get as much attention. But one thing that was large around the time of his album dropping was the beef he had with the rapper Drake. And so they had a war of words, and it, the relationship between the two of them is still kind of rocky. Now, a lot of people chose sides in this drama, and really, it, it's debatable, but I will say that, you know, the rap that you hear is not something that's bad. You know, Meek Mill can make an album that's not as if, you know, these sorts of things, whichever side you choose. But, alright, we'll get to it. The production on some of these, some of my favorites were Ambitions, I Got the Juice, Check, Been That, and Bad For You. The second half of the album is, is far better than the first half. There's 14 songs, and really... It, it, the way that these songs have been made, they, they simply feel better, and it feels more like he's not on his second album. That's really the thing, is sometimes artists will use hook R&B singers for the, the singles on the project, and there's actually songs on here that look like they could receive airplay that are not beat just for the ladies. So that's one thing. It's important to balance these things out but we can't forget about you know a classic rap song that is just good without you know being soft and that's important I feel like this album kind of did that maybe the the songs that got the most attention were different from the ones I'm getting ready to choose but the fact remains that this album does have some of these moments so this is definitely good and, you know, with Dreams and Nightmares, the thing about that one was it, I did not like the song Amen, but basically every song else released from that project was something I enjoyed. I, I liked Burn, I liked Believe It with Rick Ross. Normally his songs with Rick Ross are extremely good, and that's no exception on this project. So that's one thing to look forward to is just knowing that. There's some more. The Future Song is another one. Nicki Minaj, his girl or woman, is affiliated with this project. Now really, this is something. You know, I will say that the song, both of these songs work well, but, it, you know, you're just going to have to come at it from these angles. So... What I was going to say, the unheard songs, which are the songs you need to listen to, so I liked seven, seven songs plus two songs that I was on the fence about, so let's get to it. The, the seven songs were Jump Out the Face, 
all eyes on you, ambitions, pulling up, check, been that, and bad for you. The two songs I was on the fence about was I Got the Juice and Classic. Now, the, like I said, the second half was the real sick songs. Check, been that, ambition, those are some of the best songs, and these are songs that are reminiscent of rap songs that simply don't have the soft touch from it that's been going on so much lately. They're just good rap songs, something that you would play, getting ready to go out, doing your thing, dancing, doing you know so many things that you do when you listen to rap. These are perfect candidates. And but there is moments for it is a broad album. Oh, uh, I forget I forget what the word broad means. Uh, I'm thinking that it means wide, you know, possibly varietized. Uh, Bad for you is a good one. I think that that one's better than All Eyes on You, which was released to radio. And the weekend song is another one. Production was a little bit different in that, but I think you'll like it. Um, Jump Out the Face with Future, that one's pretty good. That one took a little bit more time for me to get used to, but I still enjoyed it. And that should about do it. Classic, I was really... That one kind of had me confused a bit, because I'm trying to think of, well, what... How could I see myself listening to this? That one kind of took me by surprise. And I got the juice. That one did not come off as strong to me as much as I would have liked it to. But seeing as if those songs would have been better, that would basically be 9 out of 14, which is the majority of the album. The score, I'm going to give this a 7. And... Because 7 out of 14, but I'm thinking I'll probably like I Got the Juice. And I don't know about class, Classic, but if I don't, it's a 6.5. Which is still pretty well put together. This was better than expected, and it's it has momentum. That's one thing I will say about it, is it does. So, the future. Like I said, Meek Mill's issues at this point, it's... Kind of sketchy what's going to happen, but I think we'll get some more music, and this is something you need to look forward to. Uh, the social score, which is how well this plays around a group, I'm going to say there were projects released, like the Drake song, that was on here, and that got attention, in addition to All Eyes on You and a couple other ones. But I will give it a seven and a half social just because the effectiveness of this. Meek Mill does have some songs that get you wired up, and this is good to know. But it, it it's pretty appealing, so it has that taken care of. It's just, it's more of a crafted album, which is good for it. So can it be topped? I think the answer is just a hair, but still I'm. Liking what I'm seeing. So I give this album a 7 and a 7.5 social.